Hello, hello, and welcome to another Scan and Cut Saturday. In this video, I would like to show you how to make this trellis or lattice vanity screen card. And we'll be covering this from scratch, so we'll be building it in Canvas Workspace. If you haven't used Canvas Workspace before or need any help with your brother Scan and Cut, I do have a full course over on Udemy that covers everything from the very beginning. So it's there if you need some help and I will leave a link in the comments section of this video and also here is the address if you need to make a note of it. Anyway, back to today's video and this is uh, ultimately what we're going to end up with which is our lattice card. So you can see I've got the lattice fretwork inside, we've got the score lines where we're going to fold the card and uh, there's some special feet there as well. So I'll start a new project and remember I'm using the desktop version of Canvas Workspace so this is the one that gets installed on your computer and I've loaded up now a square and a circle. Just to clear down that shapes palette I click on any of the other tools there and then click on my select arrow at the top. The square I'm going to change the properties of so I go into my edit tab and make sure the aspect ratio lock is off and I am going to actually work in inches for this just because it's easier for me to visualize and I'm going to set the width at two inches and the height at four inches and then the circle I'm going to set to be two inches. I'll turn the aspect ratio lock back on so I don't forget it later and I'm positioning that circle so that it's on top of the rectangle I'm pressing Ctrl C and Ctrl V to copy and paste both the circle and the rectangle and I'm just turning that rectangle back into a square and I'm going to put those off to one side as I'll use those later. Now I'm going to zoom into the shape so I can get a better look and I'm just going to move the circle down so that it's about halfway over the top of that rectangle. I'll select both and then use my alignment tools to vertically align it. Then I will weld it. So I now have the basics of the panel and I'm just going in to check those nodes to make sure there's nothing funny going on there. I think I'll be alright but I will just double check. To enter your path editing mode just remember you double click the shape and then you can select individual nodes and get rid of them if you need to. This helps avoid any little scraggly bits that might turn out in the final cut and also reduces the overall file size as we're taking away some of the information the machine would use. Okay, so we're back out to our main shape now. I will use the offset tool. Before I do though, I'm going to change back to millimeters because I can do I can do main shapes in inches, but with layers I prefer millimeters. It's odd, but you can switch between the two if you would like to. I'm going at three millimeters in an outward direction with a round corner type, and there we have our next layer. The next thing that I will do is copy and paste the square, turn off the aspect ratio lock, reduce the width to 2mm and increase the height to 100. Then I'm going to turn it 45 degrees by typing that measurement in. I'm going to align all of my shapes and then I'm going to copy and paste that long rectangle about mm, 10 or 12 times. I will then select all of those and align them. I'm going to move the top one just so that it sits with its middle on the middle of that arch and then the bottom one with its middle just on the middle of the base of that um, panel shape. 
This time I will select all of the long rectangles and align them and distribute them. I will group them, copy and paste, so I've got a second um, copy of them. Again, align them. I'll move the second copy so that it overlaps the first and then flip it. Then selecting both of the diagonal um, boxes, don't forget to select both, I'm going to weld those so they form a lattice pattern. Now I want to get to the middle shape. I could have gone in and used my layers palette because I'm in the desktop version. However, what I did end up doing is sending the big main shape to the back, selecting the inner shape, selecting the lattice, and then using the remove overlap um, option from the process overlap section, and then deleted the bit that was outside that was left over. I'm now entering the path editing mode for the trellis area or the lattice area and I'm going to start removing these tiny little areas that will cause me a problem when cutting. Don't forget you can select by using a drag selection box to highlight some of the individual nodes and then use the delete node button at the top of the screen. There we go, that's all those extra little bits out of the way. Now I have the main panel now, um, but what I don't have is the actual lattice work punching through the main panel. So I selected both shapes and then used the subtract feature. That's now all cut through each other. I need to create the feet now, so I'm gonna copy and paste the circle and change its size. Again I'm going to change from millimeters to inches here. Not always advisable as that can cause slight differences in conversion but for me I'm not looking to be super precise on this one so I can just change the sizes and I'm using three quarters of an inch as the measurement unit. Zooming in and making sure the circle is on top using the arrange feature. And I'm just going to position that where I want it to be. And this is going to basically chop off some of that square to give me one of the feet for the vanity screen panel. So select both, process overlap, subtract. There we go, that's one foot. I'll pop that down there. Control C and Control V again to copy and paste, then flip. I'll just zoom in so I can make sure I'm doing what I need to do. I'm selecting the panel and then the left hand foot and aligning to the left. However, I just realized I should have aligned the feet first. So, Control Z to undo, and then select both of the feet, align those, and just move them up. So they're in position. Select the left hand one and the main panel, align to the left and weld. Select the right, 
align to the right and weld and that's the feet now done I'm going to get rid of the extra little bits of nodes as I did before just those lines are perfectly straight and the blade when it's cutting is not going to go all wiggledy piggledy when it gets to those bits okay so that's my one of my panels done copy and paste it twice so I'm not recreating each panel from scratch once I've got one panel made I can just copy and paste to create others now I am changing from having no fill to having a fill and no line here because it's easier to see if shapes have overlapped I'll begin by aligning those then I'm going to zoom in select one of the panels and use my arrow keys on the keyboard to nudge that over so that it overlaps move over to the next one and do the same select all three and then use the horizontal distribution tool to make sure they're evenly spaced and now I'm going to use my line tool or my path tool to create the score lines so you click once to set it hold the shift key and move your mouse down and then double click to finish that line change the line type in the properties box at the top of the screen and then I've copied and pasted that then I'm using my arrow keys on my keyboard again to move that across so that it's between the two panels and then up a bit as well same again for the other score line and then to make sure that they're all perfectly distributed and aligned I select both using my layer panel and then use my alignment tools then I select everything and use the distribution tools and finally I weld the three panels together now because it, when you weld it brings them to the front I will also send them to the back soon and because I don't want any really acute corners I'm entering the path editing mode and just taking out the bottom three nodes of the joins between the panels I was going to go on and do a, a, an extra two but I thought actually that will be enough rather than zoom out and in again I can just use my hand tool to quickly move across the canvas shift and select those three again and delete and then I'll zoom back out to the whole thing arrange and centre back and then you'll see the score lines are still there and then as a final step just to make sure everything stays in place when I resize or move it I group it and that is everything done we've just created a three panel lattice vanity screen card to get it to your machine don't forget in your desktop version you don't save as you export or transfer okay there is the lattice panel vanity screen card done and once you cut it and fold it, it should look something like this the decoration is entirely up to you of course I hope you've enjoyed this video and that you will um, have a look at my Udemy course as well if you have enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up it does make a huge difference to me and I really appreciate each and every one and of course if you'd like to see more videos from me in the future please don't forget to subscribe before moving away from this video thanks very much for watching I'll see you next time